Dear friends, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the greatest feast of all times, the celebration of Christmas. The celebration of Christmas is a reminder that God, who was divine, became human just like you and me. He took our human nature, which was weak and frail and sinful, so that you and I can become divine like God. God, who was divine, became human so that we humans might become divine. And as we celebrate this festival of Christmas, let it be a reminder of what Jesus did for us. He came down to become one like us. He came to reveal the mercy of God. Jesus is the face of God's mercy. The world stands in need of God's mercy. 2,000 years ago, the world stood in need of God's mercy because all of them were sinners. 2,000 years later, you and I still stand in need of God's mercy because we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Let the birth of mercy reveal His mercy to each one of us that we may experience God's tremendous mercy and that we may share this mercy to one another. The spirit of Christmas is all about giving. It's all about sharing. It's a reminder of God's greatest giving, the giving of His only Son. It's a reminder of God's sh greatest sharing, the sharing of His only Son. May we take part in that giving and in that sharing of God who was so generous in giving of His only Son that we may share and give the richness of God's mercy to one another. So what can we do during the season of Christmas? Bring to mind, my dear friends, people who have hurt you, people whom you are struggling to forgive, if you yourselves have experienced so much of mercy and forgiveness from God, all you can do this Christmas, and the greatest gift that you can give this Christmas is the gift of forgiveness. Share your forgiveness to someone who has hurt you. Give that forgiveness that you may experience God's tremendous peace in your heart and may truly Jesus this Christmas be born in your heart and may he manifest his face of mercy towards you. Amen.